I do feel like pivoting to Trump at this point because obviously we're in the heat of an election cycle. We've talked about this a little bit. Um, what are you hearing from the Republicans? I mean, there's there's obviously great concern. There's been discussion of foreign policy among candidates like Nikki Haley. Can you give me some sense as to whether you think there may be people pivoting to the Republicans as they look at some of the far left and some of the issues around immigration and such? Oh, I have no doubt that uh, many centrist Democrats would uh, immediately um, support uh, Nikki Haley uh, if she were to get the nomination. And I think if Trump is smart, he'll make Nikki Haley his vice president and, um, and, and use her as a way of trying to get increased support among um, independents and, and moderate Democrats. Uh, right now, tragically, this horrible war that's going on in the Middle East, you don't want to think about who it benefits and who it hurts, but at the moment, it seems to have helped uh, Biden. Um, he, you know, he showed strength by going over there in the middle of a crisis. Um, whatever you might think about the specifics of his policy, and there have been criticisms, He's shown himself um, uh, as, as, as a relatively uh, a strong leader, and I think it's enhanced his his credibility. But there's a long way between now and a year from now, and anything can change. This is an election that will be determined by the good Lord and how what health he gives the two candidates. Uh, right now, if the two candidates ran against each other right this minute, Biden I was going to say Biden would win. Let me put it a little differently. Trump would lose. Neither neither candidate is going to get enthusiastic support. So yeah. Biden will lose, though. And right now, uh, Trump would lose. Um, a year from now, nobody can make that prediction. You know